Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a no contact collective love reading. This is for all signs. If you found this reading, it's meant to be heard and any sign of the person that you're thinking of. We're going to ask spirit today, what is going on in this connection? What is your person thinking and feeling? What guidance does spirit have for you in this connection? So if you're not interested in knowing what your past person um, is thinking and feeling, check out your collective love reading on my channel for uh, manifesting a love that you are worthy and deserving of or new love coming in. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. Spirit, if you could please share with me. No contact. The person that I'm thinking of. Where is this connection headed? What messages do you have for me at this time? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have abandoned. Please don't give up. The number 33. It's a storm. So please don't give up on us. Um, that could be, you know, just the start of I, I want to talk or um, I want to, you know, see what we what we can have. So please don't give up on us. The number 33 could have meaning. I have the number 17. I need to express myself. I need more balance in my life. Maybe I needed more uh, time for myself. I needed to, to do work on some things within myself. So I needed to find myself even. Let's get another one of these. Express, I can't hold back anymore. I can't hold back my feelings. Number 30, um, Spirit's asking me for a few more of these. So, okay, we'll do that. Let's get a couple more of these. They want to see what they have to say. The number 21, I have doubt. I don't know what to do anymore. So somebody out there is struggling with this energy. Please don't give up on us. Um, I've been trying to find myself. I've been trying to find more balance in my life. I've been holding back. I'm struggling with holding back. And let's get one more. Uh, the number 43, there's I'm drawn to you uncontrollably. So they're still drawn to you. There's still this physical and emotional and even spiritual um, connection between the two of you. So let's see what the cards are saying today. I've got somebody that is having a hard time with um, their feelings and obviously is struggling with, you know, please don't give up on us energy. So that could be your energy. That could be their energy. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. And so grateful spirit has guided you here. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for your comments. Always claim these readings. They are for you. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you have for us? What is my person thinking? I have a nine of swords, sleepless nights, ace of wands, two of swords, and a king of swords. So the first thing that's coming into me is those sleepless nights. It's just this feeling of I... You know, you'd like to think that people know what they're doing when they say I need space or we need a break from each other, whoever decided that. Um, sometimes we don't realize the pain. We don't realize the hurt. And I feel like that that is what's catching up with somebody is this feeling of I had no idea it was going to hurt this much. I had no idea that not opening my heart to you or not letting you in or avoiding my feelings in this connection was going to cause so much depth and hurt and worry about what happens next. So, so there's very much a feeling of what happens next also. The Ace of, um, Ace of Wands, King of Swords is sharing with me that I'm constantly thinking of you. I'm constantly wondering who you're with, what you're doing. Um, it, it did just come into me a little bit. I'm going to get some clarification on this, that they are noticing that you're moving on or they're noticing that you're happy or they're noticing that 
there's a feeling of um, they can see that you're okay. And maybe that's upsetting them even more. You know, maybe they want you to be, of course, they can't see what's in your heart. They can't see, you're not, you know, crying in public all the time where they would see that. It's, it's that, that from their perspective, they think that like you've moved on or that everything is okay and that you actually look happy. And, and that could be causing them tremendous pain and worry, you know, maybe they want to see that you're unha as unha unhappy as them. But if you have picked yourself up and you, you're starting to move on, there's my fool. Ten of swords, you know, the pain for every ending, there's a new beginning. You may have said, you know, you broke my heart. You broke my heart, three of swords, and you weren't good to me. You know, look at this. It's like boom, boom, boom. You know, just this feeling of how much hurt can any one person take? So you've got somebody that, you know, I've got a ten of swords, a devil, and a three of swords, you know, right in a row. So it's a feeling of how much pain can any one person take? And I also feel like I want to say, you know, how did we get, how did we mess this up so badly? How did, how did we mess things up so badly that there was so much hurt in this connection that we went from, you know, love and loving each other to being, you know, perfect for each other in every way to this hurt? How did we mess this up so badly? And I'm not putting the blame on any one person, you know, doesn't, there's two people in this relationship, but we, we both messed up, you know, is how it's coming into me. And your person is thinking, you know, I can see that you've moved on. I can see that you are moving forward with your life and that could be upsetting them. They could see that, you know, whether it's, it's true or not, you have, you look like you are moving in a new direction and they're starting to really think that, you know, have I lost you forever? And um, it, unfortunately, sometimes that's what it takes. It takes the kind of realization of you're not going to wait for this person or you're not going to stop living your life because um, it's not what they wanted, you know, something like that. So um, I think that there's some some regret that now they see you moving on. They see you picking up the pieces. They see you possibly dating other people or they've heard that you're dating other somebody else. And um, I feel like that's what's that's what's upsetting them the most right now is just the um the thought that you're somehow moving on without them and maybe you had no choice the hurt and the pain was so bad let's see what else we have i do miss you i love you and i promise i will be back so there's uh, uh, that just came into me almost as an empty promise and i'm sorry i do want the person to i, I do believe they miss you and i love you but i feel like the promise to be back like right now is like an empty promise they keep promising they'll come back they keep promising they'll change um and maybe we're tired of the empty promises some of us not all of us but we're tired of the empty promises there you go if moving on makes you happy i wish you nothing but the best. I'll feel pain and regret, but I want you to have love. So there's the the pain. There's the sleepless nights. There's the regret. Have I lost you forever? I can feel you moving on. You know, um, if moving on makes you happy, um, you know that is what's going on. Um, you you're struggling with. Do I move on? Um, and then they're struggling with, I, I'm upset that you're moving on, you know, so it, it's kind of crazy with, you know, you can't have it both ways. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to wait around forever for somebody to give you empty promises. You're going to eventually pick up the pieces and say, if they don't want to be with me or this connection isn't, isn't reconnecting, 
then that means that spirit has something better for me. I need to time to get over what happens. So we could both be healing and that that's a little encouraging. We could both just be healing, spending some time to get to know what these feelings are. I'm so mad at you. And yet I'm so in love with you. I do believe this person's in love with you. I do believe that they miss you tremendously. I do believe they are upset that you are thinking about moving on and picking up the pieces and um, that there's something else ahead of you. I want to look into your eyes and get lost in your soul. I feel like I want to say again, I feel like, you know, how did we mess things up so badly that I can't even look into your eyes anymore or how that I can't um, touch your soul anymore that I'm, I feel like I'm not even in your life anymore. Um, I wish I could tell you the truth. So somebody was either holding something back or you feel like they weren't honest with you or um, if we don't have truth, if we don't have trust, we don't have anything. So if that was the kind of straw that broke the camel's back, I, I don't blame you with that. I'm afraid of the love I have for you and it consumes me. So sleepless nights, sleepless nights. Um, I don't know if I can do this. So there's the feeling I'm getting over here with this feeling of I have promises I'll be back, but they're empty promises. They've been saying that for a while or they they're breadcrumbing you or they're just giving you this kind of impression of keeping that door open like that false hope. Um, I don't want you to have false hope. They're either coming back or they're not. Um, they're, they're all grown up. They know how to pick up the phone. They know how to talk to you. If they want this connection back, they know what they need to do. So that's what I want you to think about. And in the meantime, I think that you have said, hey, I'm going to move on. I'm going to be happy with my life. And they're taking notice that you've, um, you know, they've noticed that you've moved on and that you're happy. So keep doing what you're doing. Conflicted feelings, both of us. I don't know what I want. Obviously, I, I want to move on, but I also want to know what this person's doing, if they're coming back. So you could have one foot in, one foot out. That could be something that you're struggling with a little bit. Um, intelligence, use your, use your mind. You know, we follow our hearts in these situations. Maybe spirits saying, think clearly. Use what is important to you, what's logical at this moment. Yes, you're in love with this person. Yes, you want this person to pick up the phone. But if they're not, and spirits putting other people or other opportunities in front of you or um, something else in front of you, be open to that as well. I'm having fantasies about you, sleepless nights, fantasies. I, I get that. So you've got somebody who you are still, um, they're daydreaming about you. You're fantasizing about them. Um, I think you're beautiful. I have no doubt in my mind this person loves you. I have no doubt in my mind. Whether they're ready to be in this connection or they're avoiding their feelings, um, that's obvious because they're not with you today. So they've got to step forward and, and be in this, like be all in. Otherwise, you know, you just can't wait for them. This love does have potential. So we still believe in this love. And some of you, if you're not ready to move forward, then keep waiting for this person, manifest this person. Only you can decide when you're ready to move on and that you're not going to give this person um, any more time or any more of your precious time, I should say that. Um, let's go have coffee. Let's let's talk is coming into me. I want to talk. So that would be the first sign and in moving into the right direction. That would be the first sign of somebody saying, I definitely um, am not giving up on this connection. Um, I don't want you to give up on this connection. But there's almost this feeling of an invisible hostage that they have given you some false hope or belief that they're coming back. They kept that door open when I'm feeling better, when I put my life back together, I'll be back. Um, you know, but have you heard from them? Do they reach out? Do they care whether you're dead or alive? You know, 
do they, when you're having difficult days, are they there to listen to you? You know, you have to start using some of your own um, logic with what's best for you and what's best for your future self. Spirit, please share with me, what do you have for us? I have a queen of wands, you're a queen. You can attract anybody, you could be with anybody. I have a hanged man, the sense of waiting. I have a two of pentacles, some, some choices being back and forth, some give and take even there. And I have a king of pentacles. So this feeling of making a decision and being in control coming into me, making up their mind. So Spirit, can I have clarification, please, on just making up their mind? Tell, tell me what you mean by that. I have a seven of swords, the lies. I have a six of, of pentacles, page of wands, and I have a five of swords. So I want to go back to that feeling I had a moment ago of how did we how did we get here and how did we mess things up so badly? Because we both have uh, a part in this is how I feel. And there's a sense of, you know, turmoil or drama or fighting. There's a sense of um, lies. There's betrayal, possibly. There's mistrust. And then there's a sense of I needed more give and take. So we have lots of things that weren't working also. But do we have things, Spirit, that were working? Can you share with me or remind me of things that that were working and things that that I was happy in this connection? I have a hermit. I have a justice card. I have a moon, fear of commitment, avoiding commitment, and I have a temperance. So there was a point where we talked about a future. There's a point where we thought about a future with this person and we felt like this is the person I wanted to be with. And this is the person that I went from, you know, being single and alone to feeling like this was my destiny and my fate and, and that I wanted to be with this person. And then all of a sudden, you know, somebody either, you know, blocked off this energy or closed off this energy um, and said, I can't do this right now is, is how it's coming into me. I have a chariot. So that's encouraging. I have a devil. Something has to change. And I have a five of wands. So there's that fear of what's going to change, what's going to change, you know, in order for this to move forward, some behavior has to change some, some of our struggles our chaos. This is a sense of there was always something there was always a, um, you know, there was always some kind of conflict or what happened in this connection is it going to continue to happen? You know, for those of you that feel like this is a player or this person always had somebody on the side or was always looking for the next best thing, something along those lines, or just being tempted by others and that they weren't putting you first, but that's what would have to change in order for this to move forward. And this person would have to make up their mind. They would have to say clearly and concisely that, you know what, I want this to move forward and I need, I need you to have you in my life and I've made, made up my mind. So until they do that, I feel like we're struggling. I feel like we are just struggling with what does this person want and um, waiting, you know, waiting. But for many of you, I feel like, you know what, you're also thinking about moving on and you're okay with that. And this person knows that you're happy. And from afar, they're starting to realize that, you know, if, if moving on makes you happy, that's what they want for you. But at the same time, it's showing them the regret and the remorse that they have in, in some of their own actions. So let's see what the final messages are. Spirit, please share with me. I was only fooling myself by thinking that I could ever forget you. So yeah, that's that's the truth. That that nine of so nine of uh, swords right from the beginning. I'm having sleepless nights. I thought that this was going to be easier than it is. So you know, you don't just walk away. Your heart doesn't just stop loving somebody. I want to express my feelings to you. All right, so that's encouraging. 
Um, I can't deny for my feelings for you any longer. So that's also encouraging the sense of don't give up on us. I, I would love to share with you what I'm thinking and feeling. So that's encouraging. My biggest regret is letting you go. Um, I, I do feel that. I, I feel that they're realizing that this is the time. It's like a make or break moment. Okay. It's, it's a make or make or break moment today with this feeling of, I thought it was going to be easier or, um, I didn't realize that you would get tired of waiting for me and you would decide to move on and you look happy. And this, um, energy of, I, if you're happy, I want that for you. And I don't want to, you know, interrupt your life if you've really truly moved on you know so there's this kind of back and forth um with regrets you can feel that you truly are one of a kind i just hope and pray that i haven't lost you for good so you can see that their heart is still attached to you you can see and feel that there's still a lot of emotion in this connection high vibration. I'm feeling the pull back to you. I'm trying to find my way back to you for some of you. And some of you are deciding you're not waiting any longer. So you take what, what connects to you and leave the rest for everybody else. But sometimes you hear one thing and someone else hears another in these types of messages. So that's what, what they're for is that you hear what you need to hear. I want to make things work between us, but I don't know how. Every time we are together, you trigger my buttons. This is all just too intense. So I have a hard time, you know, the drama, the chaos, the fighting, it's always something, you know. So if we have that kind of turmoil or that intensity in a connection, it's very difficult for both of us. Emotionally unavailable, I'm ignoring you because I just can't open up to you. So... Is that really what's at the heart of this? Is that really what has been going on? Um, has this person been struggling with, I just can't even share with you what I'm thinking and feeling. And I wanna go back to this feeling of like, how did we get here? And how did we mess things up so badly? So we are both, I feel going back and forth today. I feel like we are both struggling in this connection. One more, please. I'm really sorry that I hurt you. I know that it was hurting me too. So we've got some hurt. We've got some guilt. We've got some regret for sure today. And let's put this out into the universe. We've got some healing that has to take place. Um, and let's ask spirit to guide you both pray for you both. I want to thank spirit for these feelings and emotions and messages today. If anyone is interested in a private reading, I'll put my website link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com. Thank you for your likes, your shares. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and claim this reading.